I'm Pat Hardy. I'm curator of paintings, prints and drawings at the Museum of London. We came across Chikwa um, in the context of a small clay statue of a sitter called Thomas Todd, who was a tea merchant in London. And so we immediately started doing a lot of research to find out um, more about this artist Chikwa and realised that actually Western merchants had been visiting clay workshops in Canton to have their likenesses made. And we think possibly he would have had a shop in one of these well-known streets um, that produce these sorts of statuettes. Um, but really any further documentation as to um, his parents or his life before he arrived in, in London is, is unknown. And I think two, two reasons uh, as to why he is very, very important. Um, the first is that he introduced these, this, this form of creating portrait likenesses into Britain. And then the second reason I think he's very important is that it shows that there was this uh, huge appetite um, for um, cultural interchange and artistic and um, cultural um, sort of sociability networks of, of educated men and women in London um, at the time. Uh, we know he translated um, scholarly books for people like Sir Hans Sloane. Um, he translated it from Mandarin um, into English. Um, he must therefore have been able to obviously understand English even though um, his English was described as broken or pidgin English. Chikwa um, fitted very um, easily um, and well into this, this, this London society that was very eager for new new ideas and new influences. The Royal Academy had just been founded in 1768. He arrives in 1769. He was obviously a novelty and he was painted by Zoffany in um, 1771 in a picture um, which incorporated all the, all the Royal Academicians. And he himself exhibited at the Royal Academy. So there's a um, a record of a clay model being exhibited there, although we don't know the name of the sitter. The piece at the Museum of London of Thomas Todd is one of only two um, definitely attributed pieces. There is another work at the Royal College of Physicians um, of a doctor. So it's interesting to think that um, Chikwa visited Thomas Todd to buy tea, um, possibly couldn't afford it, because tea was quite expensive at that point. He was charging 10 guineas for the little statues, which is an awful lot of money, really. Um, so maybe he got a supply of tea from Thomas Todd. He apparently, um, after two years of being in London, was complaining of the cold um, and wanted to return to China. Um, he boarded a, a, a boat, but the sailors were quite superstitious and didn't want him on board. So he either fell or was pushed overboard and then had to swim to shore and was picked up and went back to London, worked a bit longer in London and then managed to get a safe passage back the following year in 1772. So he did make it back home. But then the next reference to him is in the Gentleman's Magazine of 1797. Um, saying that he had died and he'd actually taken his own life, he'd taken poison the year before. And why he'd done that, I don't know, because it's just a complete absence of information between 1772 and 90. The arrival of Chikwa and the way he was welcomed, um, the way he was um, introduced from network to network to network, um, in Britain means that um, London society recognised that here was um, an artist, a Chinese man, who was of interest to them and could assist them in their translations of works um, and in divulging and revealing and conveying life, Chinese life and Chinese art in a very authentic way.